Right. Just been speaking to the landlords who tried to bait me into um, an argument by trying to wind me up. All right, so we just store this first. Um, I just stop this. I think it's that one. Or is it that one? Back. Store or not? Yes. Right, recording library. There's only two on there, one from the police, one from that, so it should be the top one. Right, that sounds like the police one. Let's go back off that one. It's got to be the bottom one then. That was the police one talking about antisocial behaviour, right? This is the 33 minutes one, so. Since someone asked earlier. So first I dealt with the mould spores, then I attempted to cancel a gas safety check, had my words twisted, tried to wind me up, threatened that they was recording my calls for antisocial behaviour reasons. <laughs> Alright, so I recorded the whole thing. I'm not even taking out. Good afternoon, thank you for calling Chris Keith Home. Good afternoon, Kelly. Um, this is Paul Hobden. I live at 2A Holmes Road in Glinton. What other information do you need? Let me spring up your account. Okay. No. okay. Yeah, no worries. I'm just going to shut my kitchen door because I've got washing on. A little bit noisy. I can't hear you properly. One second. Yeah, beware any fishers or uh, scammers out there. Attempt anything or catch you doing it, you get reported. And then you get anonymous. Let me see if I can... There is a reason for it, because I'm just about to put in a claim. Okay. Well, there's a lot of people that are going to come to us and they're going to be claiming Monitoring purposes. Monitoring for antisocial behaviour.
So you know, make it hard for you to record because you have to keep pausing to put personal information in and out of them and they know that's what you're doing so that's why they do it. So I've just left it all in there, fuck them. They're recording, remember? Even when you're on hold, listen to the remix in the phone. Music, right? Just listen carefully. <coughs> Caught them doing it. That's why I recorded the whole thing, all the calls. Because they told me they have an office in the police station. Tablet cradle, so I'm not having to hold it. Oh, excuse the wind. Remix. Remix. <laughs> right. So they did have it. Why are they asking me for it? Yeah, don't laugh at me, bitch.
So it is a waste of my time, energy, and affecting my health using such chemicals to clean it all up in the first place. Yeah. Absolutely disgusted, and I'm thinking about putting in a claim. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's affecting my health even further now after I've tried my best to do it as a disabled person. Yeah. Were you aware that we cover, we do the repairs for mould, damp and mould? Yeah, you were supposed to have come and done it properly, but you just painted over it and went away again. So we always do an antifungal wash in the same block, yeah? Yeah, it's all come back again. It's all come from that front door. And is it around the front door at the moment? Of course it is, because they put a bit of wood over the letterbox and over the window, and the rain's come through the wood, and it's blowing spores, it's then going up on the ceiling above the front door, now it's right the way through the bathroom again, it's gone right the way through the house into the back bedrooms again, I've got a big patch of mould growing on my ceiling, uh, you know, in my own bedroom where I'm having to keep air circulating around the house. Yeah. Um, I can't keep heat in the house because of the uh, damage to the door. Uh, I've been quoted £900 for the door, which I'm trying to get sorted out at the moment. Um, but my health comes before any greedy corporations, blimmin' prices. I'm on, talking to family about seeing if they've got an old door in stock over there with my father's uh, business before he died, so they might even have one there and then I can sort that out myself. Um, you know, but this ain't acceptable with my health. It's going to seriously yeah, think... kill me quickly. I want this sorted out now. Yeah, and that's what I can do. And I can't be in the house, so what the hell do I do? I've got nowhere to go, I can't. You know? So when you're spraying chemicals around me house to treat it, what the hell am I supposed to do then? So we wouldn't spray anything that causes major harm to any of our tenants. It's a procedure. Well, I've got emphysema, so I can't breathe anything like that in. I'm not even supposed to be spraying mildew remover. Right, so our normal procedure would be I would raise a job to carry out the antifungal wash and stain block, but also a surveyor to come and investigate your property. Well, that's what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to be going up in the lot first before the solar panel people came out to check their meter. Um, never got a surveyor come back out. That was left. Um, <laughs> he was just painted over and then off they went again. This has been going on for ages. I'm sick of it now. It's a waste of time me investing any money in the property or trying to do anything else. Because it's just a waste of money and resources now, and I need that for my heating. Absolutely ridiculous. So, from what you've raised, our procedure would be to raise those things. I'm happy for a surveyor to attend. Um, I'm happy to get the stain block yeah. carried out for you. Another thing I want to raise as well, because uh, I'm going to get accused of being antisocial if I deny them entry to the property. I'm going to ring Cross Creek back in a minute. Um, I had a gas safety check done a couple of, uh, about a month ago, I think it was, maybe six weeks or that sort of time period, and I queried it straight away saying, I've only just had one a few months ago. Now I've been sent another letter, official looking, saying they want to come and have another look around, another property check, another gas safety check. What the? No, no, no. You've already done one a month or so ago. Thank you. Keep talking over me. Yeah, I'm just 
proactive, that's all. So I'm going to raise a job for the antifungal wash and stain block. That gets sent over to me, so it'll be themselves that will contact you with the date that they've got that's convenient for yourself. Okay, yeah, lovely. And for a surveyor, the next said the next one started winding me up calling me a liar trying to wind me up even further because they knew I was being hyperactive tried playing on it telling me they was recording all the calls for what reason antisocial behavior right which the police had tried to trick me into signing about antisocial behaviour, which was why I recorded the police interview. And cross keys were silly enough to tell me that they had an office in the uh, police station. So, is it a former police home? Or what? How do they get to be the landlords? Oh, Or is this part of their pension plan through the council and our council tax? Is this another one of them co companies like the uh, COVID police inspectors funds? Alright, listen carefully now because you'll hear her trip herself up. Well, that's 
right. That's why you done it a couple of months ago. Oh, and if I refused entry, then I'd be classed as antisocial. So that would be why the police wanted me to sign the antisocial thing, wasn't it? So it was a setup. <laughs> I'm just saying it was a setup. My date of birth two six zero four six seven. Quick distraction. My name's Paul Hobden. Right now, we like. How you doing, puppy? We'll go and get that washing in in a minute. Let's just check that's still on the line on the phone while I'm looking. <coughs> check the back camera. outside that can fall over on the wall. Wonder what that was then. Must be something to do with the next door neighbour listening. Have a look at the washing while they're messing about playing games. Yeah, it's all safe on the line now. In night vision. Oops, let's just uh, prop that back up again on that. Stick my phone under the bottom of the tablet to prop it up. Get the speaker underneath it so you can see it. Then if it gets electronically interfered with, you know who it is, won't you? Are you ready yet? Oh, we've got a dead phone line now. Still recording though, aren't they? See if I'm getting wound up yet. Just Six saying. Minutes. So I'm hanging up now because it's just silent phone call, like you're uh, just being rude. Right. Just showing your tactics, how they do things. A, B. Right. Just helping my bro out. Thank you. 
Same as dealing with Clarion, all right? This is how they do it. All these agencies use the Investigate Repowers Act by using stress methods to get their information for mere suspicion of a crime. All right?
me up, are they, to say I'm being antisocial? For the recording. Yeah, I'm just looking at the back camera and I can see the reflection on the window with the listening post next door to my bedroom. You can see his lights on. It was clearly a hang up. She hung wasn't up. It? How rude. That's definitely not on hold right. because I heard the phone get put down. So I'm just hanging up. What a waste of time. Right. There you go. Ooh, a baggie. Ah, that got you, didn't it? Stuck for the USB pump. What a waste of time, eh? Got it now. <coughs> oh, better turn that one off. That's gone straight over to the police station one. That one, I've been advised. To look after my privacy. So I'm respecting their wishes. Because that was dealt with out of court over the dogs. Right. So-called community resolution where they tried to trick me into something to do with antisocial behaviour. Right. So I signed it. And I kept the recording in his own words on this to prove that as well. Okay. Let's have a look in the filing cabinet. Where's that one gone? Um, we got a bit drenched in coffee the other day. There's a need over me coffee by mistake. So I know it's down there drying off. Oops. Uh, let's take that off of there now. Put that over there. Oh, excuse the mess down here. It's just where I throw my meds and that out the way. There's that letter gone. It's down there under the bed somewhere. Safe and sound. Right. Oh, there you have it. Let's get this uploaded.
it's dark, so I've got to go and get the washing in.